The historic center of Evora, whose roots go back to Roman times, reached its golden age in the 15th century, when it became the residence of the Portuguese kings. Its unique quality stems from the whitewashed houses, decorated with azulejos and wrought iron balconies, dating from the 16th to the 18th century. There are a number of buildings from the medieval period, the best known of which is the cathedral, that was completed in the 13th century. But it was in the 15th century, when the Portuguese kings began living in Evora on an increasingly regular basis, that Evora's golden age began. At that time, convents and royal palaces sprung up everywhere, St. Clair Convent, the Royal Church and Convent of São Francisco, and Us Loyos Convent with the São João Evangelista Church. These are remarkable monuments that were either entirely new buildings, or else constructed within already existing establishments, and which are characterized by the Manueline style, that survived in the major creations of the 16th century. Its monuments had a profound influence on Portuguese architecture in Brazil.